Hello friends, welcome back to the shop. Today is Sunday, January 2nd, 2022. Very happy new year to you and yours. I hope you all enjoyed the full extent of the holiday season, which has finally come to an end. Uh, I believe today is the last day of the Hallmark Channel Christmas Hell, uh, which makes me a happy man. And, uh, you know, I can now relax until July, and then it'll start up again. Ah, got a lot to talk about today, an awful lot. Uh, but I hope you're all doing well, and the new year's off to a great start. I am going to be smoking this beautiful Boswell. Uh, this is one of their shot shell pipes. Uh, beautiful acrylic stem. Very, very wonderful. Uh, this was a kind gift from my friend Jack Kurtz. Uh, he really surprised me with this. He just opened up his one of his giant drawers of Bogswell pipes and said, pick one. And uh, when I said I couldn't, he said, I already know which one you're going to pick. And I was looking at this one. <laughs> and he pointed to it. So, yeah, it's it's a wonderful pipe. I've been smoking it the past couple of days. Uh, put uh, probably about five bowls of Haunted Bookshop through it. So I'm feeling comfortable with it. And that's important because I'm going to be smoking something different today. Uh, I'm going to be smoking a bowl of my 2021 blend. So this is kind of a tradition with me. Uh, every year I, I've got a big jar that uh, when I get to the end of a tin or, or, or a pouch or a bag of a tobacco that I like, it has to, it has to be something I enjoy. I donate an entire bowl's worth of that, and it's got to be a full bowl's worth. This isn't just like the odds and ends that are left. This is a full bowl to this big jar, and then I shake it up and set it aside, and I keep doing that throughout the year. So it's got to be something I like. It can't be an aromatic. It can't be uh, uh, an English, and it can't be Haunted Bookshop or Pegasus. Otherwise, I just wind up with a big jar of Haunted Bookshop and Pegasus. So I've been doing this for three or four years now, and I really enjoy it. I'll, I'll smoke this blend throughout the year, you know, maybe a bowl a month, and uh, then when I get to the end of the year, I'll have a, a new jar. Uh, and because it's only things that I like, I wind always wind up with something I, I like. So it's kind of a little special treat once a month or so. And I do donate a bowl of last year's blend to the new year. So this has actually got a bowl of the 2021 blend in it. It's labeled 2022 blend, and it will sit there and collect tobacco over the year. All right, so let's light this up and see what we got. Very nice. What we don't got is a timbre. Don't got them. There we go. Oh, this is nice. The great thing about it is since you only put what you like into the blend, you're going to probably wind up with something you like. And for those that are curious, I'll read the list of what has gone into this. So as I said, there, there was a, a donation from the 2020 blend, which went into the 2021 blend. Uh, beyond that, it was Five Brothers, Prince Albert, GLP Barbary Coast, Cornell and Deal Grey Ghost, GLP Triple Play, GLP Windjammer, uh, Hamburger Veermaster from Dan Tobacco, Waybridge, uh, Cargo Hold Olympic Mountaineer, which I believe Doug said was Old Dark Fired, Warhorse, uh, Ready Rub Warhorse, uh, Cargo Hold Cumbria Flake, which I think Doug said was Best Brown, but I, I don't remember, but it, it, it made it to the bowl, made it to the jar. Uh, old Joe Krantz from 2016, and the last entry for, for last year was uh, Kendall Cream. 
And it's always interesting to me, you know, I, I, I say I'm a Burley guy. Now, I do smoke a lot of Burley. Smoke an awful lot of Honda Bookshop Pegasus, and then, you know, there were things like Five Brothers in there and Prince Albert. But uh, it's a lot of Virginias in this. And that's the thing that always surprises me when I, when I you know, if you think about this as kind of a... A review of your tobaccos of last year in a in a bowl. Um, I smoked a lot of Virginias. <laughs> mm, but it's good stuff. All right. Um, we had a meet up at Boswell's well, last Thursday, and I know you've seen other guys' videos uh, from this. It was fantastic. We 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 just had a ball. Uh, I got to meet a bunch of folks from, from the YTPC and some guys uh, not from the YTPC. Uh, I've got some pictures here. I took some, the first two pictures are mine. And let's see. You, you'll be able to see that I am just, hmm, pictures didn't show up there. Let's try this. You'll be able to see that I am a terrible photographer. Those lights at Boswell's were just not being my friend. Uh, but here's a picture of uh, one little corner of the lounge. They got a great lounge at Boswell's. And you might see some folks there you'll recognize. Uh, here's a picture <laughs> on the other side. Again, my photography skills are not top notch. But uh, fortunately, some folks sent me some pictures that they took. So I've got some pictures from, uh, I believe these are actually all from Greg uh, Tunnel Tape. Uh, here's a, a group shot, and uh, this is pretty much everybody that was at the meetup, and a uh, great bunch of guys. We, we had a fantastic time. We shared tobaccos. We, we talked. We, we talked about YouTube. We talked about pipes. We, it, it was just a, a real good time. Uh, and this was the after, after meetup uh, lunch slash dinner party. And I'll just quickly take you through the group here. This is um, all but two, I think, of the, the guys that were there. Uh, so at the lower left there, you've got John the Bearded Welshman. Next to him is Greg Tunnel Take. Uh, then we got Ryan S. Uh, it was really good to meet Ryan. Uh, he's I've, I've seen him in comments and live streams. Uh, next to Ryan is Armchair Piper Ed. And across the table from Armchair Piper Ed, over that giant mound of onion rings, is me. I'm the little bald guy in the back there. Uh, then coming forward, we got Tamper Tantrum. Jeff, I was surprised that Jeff took took the drive out from Ohio, but uh, it was really great to, to meet him finally. Uh, next, we've got uh, Brian Doran, Beans316, and it was really good to see Brian. Uh, Cole, Big Country Briar is next to last in line here and finally uh smoke and fireman cody uh is 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 the, the the guy that's just opposite john the bearded welshman there at the at the our end of the table on the right hand side and you know i really enjoyed meeting everybody here but meeting guys like ryan s uh cole uh uh, Big Country Briar and uh, Smoking Fireman Cody. Th th these are guys that I, I've seen their names. I've interacted with them. It was it was just great to meet them, shake their hand, and to meet all of these guys and spend some time with them. Uh, it was really was a, a fantastic time. So I've got a bit of a video clip here. Uh, I'm going to leave the audio on in the video just so you kind of get a feel for what was going on, what the thing was like, but the conversation isn't really important. And I'll try not to talk over this. It's just a short little video where I walk around to give you a feel for what was going on. I don't think I do. Just leave a comment on mine and then I'll answer you. Cool. Hey, me. Just don't think I do. I'm kind of doing it. I'm not that good. I never shown anything. I'm more likely to paint and then throw it away or something like that. But then when I started doing the pipe, I really haven't been doing as much painting. Because this is what I consider the hobby, is the restoration and the work again. Smoking a pipe is what I do, you know. So I know. Well, 
And there you got it. So, hope you enjoyed that little peek into the uh, the meetup at Boswell's. It was just, I can't say enough how much fun it was. Um, and, uh, the, you know, kindness and generosity was uh, there in droves, as is always the case. You know, I, I titled this uh, League of Extraordinary Pipe Smokers. I was going to title it League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, but I was worried I'd attract uh, obsessive Sean Connery fans, so I decided not to do that. Uh, and, you know, it's not that there was anything particularly special about any one of us uh, in, in that room. It's just that pipe smokers in general are extraordinary. And uh, any time you can get together with a few, it, it's, it's, a, it's a good time. It's... Uh, it's a lot of fun and very generous. Uh, so Greg Tunnel was kind enough to give me a stack of these guys. Uh, and you can see there's one back there on my wall of, of stickers, which is going to have to get bigger or move somewhere because they're starting to overlap quite a bit. Uh, but I've got these. I'm going to be hopefully including these in some uh, giveaways in the near future. So something to look forward to. Uh, and it was very nice of Greg to make these. I don't know if you've seen them, but... It's a really nice job with these. They're stickers, by the way. I should have said that. Um, Brian Doran, Beans 316, really surprised me with a tin of Pelican. And uh, this is from 2013. Uh, Brian asked me, uh, might have been the day before the meetup, uh, he got in touch on Instagram and said, is there anything you've been wanting to try and haven't been able to find? And this was the first thing that came to mind. Um, I didn't know Brian had it. I just was, you know, I, I didn't even know what the question was about. I just thought he was. So um, he showed up and, well, I showed up. We were, we were actually late. That's a long story. But um, he, he just handed this to me and, you know, I shared it with the guys there. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many folks got a chance to try it. I tried it. I've had a few bowls since. Uh, gave a sample to armchair piper ed this is nice this is a wonderful uh it's an english blend yeah, but it's just smooth and and a lot of key is just perfect in this i really like it uh unfortunately it's extremely hard to get but uh thank you brian i really appreciate the opportunity to to, to try this and and to share it with with friends uh, and i not to you know, call anyone out in particular because there was you know, it's just a lot, of, a lot of generosity. Uh, everybody brought tobaccos and, and shared them. So, uh, but those those were two the two things that I wanted to share. And finally, uh, my buddy uh, Cole, uh, Big Country Briar, brought this uh, lighter. This is a Zenith. I think that's right. I better check that. I keep wanting to call it a Zephyr, but I think it's a Zenith. Yeah, it's a Zenith Windbrew. Uh, really beautiful lighter, very unique. Uh, problem is, there's something wrong with the hinge mechanism where it won't close. And uh, I think it's just that the little piece of spring steel has gotten deformed. But uh, he asked me to take a look at this and see if I could fix it. I'm going to try to do that for him. But I need to figure out what's wrong with it. So if any of you guys have one of these that's in working condition and you wouldn't mind taking a couple of close-up shots of that hinge, a spring mechanism in there, I'd, I'd greatly appreciate it. But uh, we'll, we'll keep searching and we'll figure something out, Cole. So I, I love lighters. I, I just love all the variations on the forms. And this is a really cool looking one. Yeah, so that's uh, pretty much the meetup. Like I said, uh, Ed and I got there late, uh, which was mostly the fault of my GPS. And it's a long story, but uh, and uh, but we, we we spent a couple hours at Boswell's, and then we went out and and had lunch, dinner, depending on what you want to call it. It was like three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, and then headed home. Uh, got. 
back here about 8.30 at night. I left here at 8 o'clock in the morning. So it was a long day. Uh, a lot of driving. We, Ed and I had to get to Boswell's from Ed's was three hours and to get from my house to Ed's is one hour. So I actually had a four hour drive both ways. Um, I know um, Tamper Tantrum had a five hour drive both ways. Uh, Greg Tunnel, I don't remember. He was in the four five hour range as well. Uh, guys came quite a distance for this and uh, but it, it was worth it. It was definitely worth it. So if you get a chance to go to a meetup, to go to a pipe, uh, pipe club, uh, to go to a pipe show, don't pass it up because there's something very, very enjoyable about sitting down with like-minded folks and sharing some tobacco. And this pipe smokes beautifully, and it is a Boswell. I did not buy anything at Boswell's. Uh, I don't need pipes. I, I still needed to break this one in. I, I had it sitting here like new because Jack takes such good care of his pipes. You, wouldn't, you could barely tell it was smoked. Um, and then I have the uh, Lone Star Briar pipe that uh, Jason Mouton kindly sent to me that I need to break in after I'm comfortable with this one. So I've got a lot of pipes to smoke in across my normal rotation. So I didn't buy any pipes. Uh, I also didn't buy any tobacco just because it was getting late and we were kind of in a hurry to leave. Um, I did look, they, they got a great selection of tobacco there. Even if you don't want Boswell blends, their tin selection is fantastic. So, all right, other news. Um, so if you go to my website, canerodpipes.com, you will see an announcement which I put up yesterday and I talked about this before so it's not not really a surprise but I, I am no longer taking orders for pipe repair or restoration um, I have a link on the website again canerodpipes.com uh, that will take you to Tim West's website which is jhlow.com and I'll put a link down below for, for Tim as well uh, I talked to Tim a couple days ago and he has agreed that he will uh, take on any customers that, that need the kind of work that I would do. Uh, he, he's well known in the pipe world. He's got uh, years and years of experience, more experience than I do. And uh, he'll be able to get your pipes repaired and returned to you uh, much more quickly than I ever could. And they'll be great quality, it'll be great quality work. So if you if you were waiting for me, if you had hoped that I would do something, please get in touch with Tim. Again, I'll link below. Uh, his website has an email contact. It has um, phone numbers. Uh, usually just giving him a call is, is, is the best way. He, he does respond to email, but I think he, at least in my interactions with him, he seems to prefer phone calls. So, uh, and also I talked to Tim and said, hey, you want to come on a Friday night sometime and he's he's willing to do that so that'll be a lot of fun I'm gonna try to get that scheduled sometime in January if not January early February and uh, I'm looking for folks to, to join me on Friday night live streams so if anybody wants to you know spend an hour chatting and let letting the folks in the YTPC get to know you better by all means, get, get in touch, and I'd be happy to happy to have you. Uh, we're gonna this coming Friday. We're just gonna do our usual Friday live stream, solo live stream. Uh, what do I call it? Virtual Pipe Club, Cameron Pipes Virtual Pipe Club. Not to be confused with the Virtual Pipe Club. And uh, yeah, we'll have some fun. So that's that. Wow, there's something else that I know I forgot to say that I wanted to. Uh, oh, a lot of folks have asked about my weight loss and, and all that, uh, how I did it and everything. And I am going to do a video on that, I'm hoping, next Sunday. So if you're interested, next Sunday's video is for you. If you're not interested, you might want to skip it because it's just going to be me talking about food and exercise and such. So, But I will have a bite. Yeah. Bad timing. 
I saved it. Well, folks, with that, um, thank you for watching. I again, thanks to all the guys that uh, came out to Boswell's uh, and, and so generously shared their time, their tobacco, and their knowledge. Uh, really wonderful day. Uh, thanks to all of you that wish you could have been there and couldn't. Uh, I, I wish you could have too. And, uh, you know, go find a shop near you and set something up for the folks in your area. Uh, you never know. Somebody might drive four or five hours to be there. With that, I want to once again wish you all the best in the new year. Uh, best wishes for, for health and happiness and, and, and God's blessings in, in, in this new year. And I will say goodbye. So until we speak again, I will look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Goodbye now.